Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. And today we're going to take a walk on the weird side and take a look at models that are really off the beaten track. And whenever I'm looking for a good source of non-standard figurines, uh, I, I head first to Cool Mini. And if anybody knows a better place or or a similar place or a more unusual place, put it in the comments section because I would be more than happy to hear it. So first off, the ads on the Cool Mini site actually are mostly useful products. I mean, they a lot of good stuff, up and comers advertised there. And of course, Cool Mini has this great scroll on their homepage, if you look on the left hand side here, of a lot of stuff that's coming out. So, uh, for example, if I were looking for either unusual figures just to paint for fun or for figures where um, I wanted to use them in a role-playing game or I wanted alternate figures for a very popular game. So, for example, for 40K, you might want to do some Sisters of Battle. But check it out, Iron Empire Jet Girls. So, you know, you've got a lot of great, got a lot of great stand-in models here. And, uh, in fact, let's take a look. And you, you, you can all figure out what, you know, these would stand in for. These are called Excoriators. And they're also great figures just for, you know, painting for fun or standing in for something else. So, just one little change in an army, some unusual thing that you've done for your theme. So, for example, Rich's orcs from the Snakebite clan, you know, he's got them riding uh, lizards and stuff. Uh, I mean, you, you, can really, you can really add something. So, anyway, uh, so you go in the upper left. You can't see it because I have it off screen here, but uh, you, you go to there. Well, hold on. Let me get rid of this. So, Cool Mini, at the top you'll see a shop. So you go to the shop and then the upper left, just off screen here, it says miniatures. So here's like maybe 50 or 70 different miniatures lines and you know there's great stuff on here. So let's take a look at um, oh my gosh let's go to Myrmidon miniatures why not. And so you'll you'll find you know some really great figures. Wait a minute, these are mostly out of stock. Okay, you know, it happens because there's different uh, different lines, very unusual lines that are sometimes hard to, to keep in stock, but uh, Cool Mini generally does a really good job. And so, let's go to Kingdom Death. Um, and so, okay, hold on. See, I knew that one would be very, um, very high demand. So, Dark Age. There we go. That'll be a good one. And this has a lot of really, really evocative figures in it. And so, let's see. Books, cards. Here you go. So, you know, like here, here this would make a great assassin, right? Isn't that figure just cool? Just by yourself, you know? And I keep saying, you know, you get it. I'm working on improving my speaking skills. Slowly but surely, guys. So you got 50 more mil 54 millimeter. You got board games, and uh, the board games have tons of great stuff. Notably, Blood Rage. I've been looking a lot at Blood Rage. I've had a lot of people ask me about it. If you want a board game painted, send me a ping to or a quick email to projects at bluetablepainting.com, and I can get back to you right away because I have a pretty simple pricing game, uh, pricing guide for, for board games. And, in fact, um, let's go ahead and just open up, let's open up spreadsheets and price guides. This is how many price guides I have for various games, guys. It's, it's pushing 200. So when you say, hey, send me a price guide, well, it's really hard f for me if, unless you tell me, you know, Excuse me, I said, you know, again, uh, unless you tell me what it is you want. So let's say Tyranids, you know, open that up. And what you do is you just, so tier, Hive Tyrant, you just put in the level that you want. And there's a drop down menu, even. By the way, we no longer do level two. It's just not, it's just, 
it's quick, but not many people have really asked for it. So then you put in your quantity and it'll auto calculate everything. So if you've already assembled your hive tire, you just come over here to assembly cost and you just delete out that cell for total assembly cost. That way you'll still, it'll still, like let's say later you change your mind, you're like, ah, I'm not putting this hive tyrant together. At least you'll still have that, that number there. So back to looking at cool stuff. Blood Rage Core Box, man. There's a reason this is out of stock, by the way. So here it is. Oh, it doesn't really show you the miniatures in it, does it? Hold on. Okay. Ooh, cool mini are not collectibles. I wonder if there's anything there. Nope, not really. Close out. Fun. Cool. What's who's this guy? Let's take a look. Oh, that's neat. Alright, that'll make a great Gelugon Ice Devil for for D D. So guys, uh, I'm gonna show you one other thing. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Dread ball. Awesome. Loving it. I, I want to give a shout out to War Gamma Miniatures by Mr. Dandy. And I gotta tell you, this guy does a lot of great stand-in stuff. And he's the nicest guy. I've met him a couple of times at Adepticon. And he just he does a great job, puts out great product, uh, very reliable and just really cool stuff. Now he has this giant creature coming out. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, Spawn Hive Region. Okay, I just got to give a shout out to this. So this is, if I may say, is could be a great stand-in for a Tyranid Hierophant. It stands 12 inches tall. I mean, this is amazing stuff. Oh my gosh, I, I want one. I, I'm almost ready to do another Tyranid army just because of this model. I think it looks so much better than the Forge World uh, model in terms of how it's positioned and sort of the feel of it. I gotta tell you, this is really cool stuff and, and I, I love it. It's fantastic. And look at the price, 180 bucks. Come on, Mr. Dandy, you gotta have to make some money for yourself. So he's just got a lot of really cool stuff. We've actually painted quite a bit of it here at BTP. Uh, the Dredalian Arch. Simple and elegant. The Dredalian design philosophy suggests an ancient race which utilizes both technology and magic in startling ways. Ha <laughs> ha! So <laughs> hilarious. Yes, we get it. We know what it is. So, all right. Just wanted to point out one other thing. Uh, one of the advantages of using blue table painting is your project goes on this awesome update page where I update this probably every day. And you guys are welcome to come here. And it's on my old blog, which by the way has just been an amazing utility for me over the years. Started in 2008, as you can see. Not really doing much with it nowadays. I mean, last year was all I could do just to take care of all the administration of the studio. So anyway, I put up pictures of staff and of me and stuff like that. And there's updates, like the last three days I've had daily updates for all my clients telling me, telling, you know, about package arrivals and stuff like that. So models incoming. So these are the projects where models are still coming. And then in receiving where I've got it, but I haven't opened the packages yet. Now instructions, so I need to review the client's specifications and, you know, how they want it done. And I, I look over everything just in case there's something unusual or that needs to be clarified. I try and catch any sort of misunderstandings before it makes it to the artist. Waiting for assembly, active assembly. Uh, right now our assembler, our very enthusiastic assembler, uh, has like 18 projects he's working on. So those are coming in. I'm checking on, in on him uh, quite often. Waiting for painting. Right now there's only one thing waiting for painting. And then active painting. All right, here's where the fun starts. So there's something like 18 projects and eight artists working here. Uh, great picture of me and Rich. Digital photography. And then, of course, completed. And every, every stage is, is explained. And now we get down here to completed. Look at all these completed projects. Hold on, I'm just going to keep scrolling. Do 
da, 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 da. Anyway, you get the idea. There's a lot. And this is only like recent history. And you can kind of take, you know, a blast from the past of all the different artists and all the different fun times we've had uh, going, going down the line here. And then, of course, all my old uh, updates down here of what's going on. And uh, Blue Table Painting, not many people know it, but Blue Table Painting has a Flickr page. Now, unusually, let's say you were going to do a web store. A challenge of your web store would be to find pictures of the product, especially if it's Games Workshop stuff. Like, you can't just pull pictures of their stuff off of the GW site. But you can't really assemble and paint it all just to, you know, start your web store. So that's when you would come talk to me, and I would, you know, welcome somebody using my pictures to do their, do their stuff. Or if it would just be useful to you. Just, uh, you know, let me know. I think people get all worked up over certain levels of copyright when really they shouldn't. By the way, this is just recent history. There's like, there's 20 pages. I think there's 100 things per page. I'm not sure. I, I, know, I know we're coming up on 2,000 projects just on Flickr, and we only started this a couple years ago. So that's, that's really Blue Table Paintings' claim to fame is all the projects we've done. I mean, most places, they, they probably haven't even done 100, much less, you know, 1,000. So there's that. I, I didn't mean that to sound negative. I, I apologize if it came across that way. But we have finished a lot of projects. It's a lot of fun just to look at them for inspiration. And uh, so let's go. Oh, the Blue Table Painting web store. I wanted to tell you something else, which is I am going through item by item through the entire web store. And right now there are approximately 2,000 listings up which would by any rights be a huge, like if I put them all on eBay, that would be a, an absolutely enormous uh, offering. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Just wanted to see something. 12 minutes is where we're at. Yeah, an enormous offering. And of course, I started the web store because eBay is like, they just, they just really take, take, take a giant bite. And, well, there you go. But, of course, they give you a lot of great exposure that you wouldn't have otherwise had had you started doing your own thing. Anyway, and so I'm going over every single item and making sure the inventory is just right. That's a very, for me, that's a very exciting project that we're doing right now. All right, well, that's all I had to say. just wanted to show you where you might go to get some really cool uh, oddball stuff. Uh, and have it in stock in the U.S. rather than having to go all over the world for it. And also, don't forget uh, War Gamma. War Gamma Miniatures by Mr. Dandy. Because this guy, he's, he's really just absolutely salt of the earth. All right, that's all i got to say. And I want to thank you for tuning in. And there is much, much, much more to come. Three, two, one.